Hello everyone, this is video number 37 and our topic is tenses. The tense of a verb tells when the action is or was or will be carried out. Okay, so tense is a form of verb which tells us about the time of the action. Thus, a verb may refer to present time, to past time or to future time. A verb that refers to present time is said to be in the present tense. Example, I write, I play. A verb that refers to past time is said to be in the past tense. Example, I wrote and I played. A verb that refers to future time is said to be in the future tense. Example, I will write, I will play. So these three tenses are further divided into three categories. Present tense, past tense and future tense. Okay, so now these three tenses that is present tense, past tense and future tense are further divided into three categories. Let's see. Simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense. For, for past tense in the same way we have simple past tense, past continuous tense and past perfect tense. Future tense. For future tense we have simple, fu simple future tense, future continuous tense and the future perfect tense. Now for understanding tenses, forms of verbs is very important. So let us see what are the five forms of verb. Okay, so first we have base verb. Base verb is also known as V1. Then the past form of the verb V2. Past participle, it is known as V3. And then we have ING form, it is known as V4. And S and ES form, which is known as V5. Now see, uh, we will try to understand this with the help of an example. V1, play. Past form of play is played that is v2 form and then past participle played v4 form playing v5 form plays in the same way for go v1 go v2 the past form of go is went past participle gone snes form goes and ing form is going now we are going to see the structure of simple present tense and we will see the structure of all the tenses. So first we will start with simple present tense. Okay. Simple present tense. Now why simple present tense is used? What is the use of simple present tense? To express a habitual action. Example, I play football regularly. Or to express general truth. Example, the sun rises in the east. So simple present tense is used to express a habitual action or to express general truth. Now what is the format and what is the structure of simple present tense? Subject plus V1 slash V5 plus object. V5 in case of third person. So right now I have shown you what are the five forms of verb. Now next is present continuous tense. What is the use of present continuous tense? It expresses an action going on at the time of speaking. Example, I am playing football right now. So this action is going on at the time of speaking. I am doing my homework. We are studying. Okay. It is also used to express an action which is going to happen in the near future. But... One thing you have to remember that the time of action is mentioned over here. Example, I am going to the cinema tonight. See, the time of action is mentioned. My uncle is arriving tomorrow. Now, let's see what is the structure of the present continuous tense. Subject plus is, am, are plus v4 that is ing form of the verb plus object. 
Next we have present perfect tense. Now present perfect tense it is used to express an action that has been completed in the immediate past. Okay and uh, it is also used to uh, it is also used for a recently completed action. Example he has gone to office. We have finished our lesson. They have gone to office. He has just gone out. So you can see that it is used to express a recently completed action. Past action when the time is not given and not definite. So this is the second use of present perfect tense that it is used to express a past action when the time is not given and not definite. Example, I have done my work. Now here the time is not given and the time is not definite. I have never known him to be angry. Now let's see the structure of present perfect tense. The structure subject plus has slash have plus v3 that is the past participle plus object. Okay, now next we have it is also used, present perfect tense is also then used to denote an action beginning at some time in the past and continuing up to the present moment. Often with since and for phrase. Example, he has been ill since last week. I have known him for a long time. Past action, the result of which still persist. Example, I have cut my finger. What is the action that, what will be the result that will still persist? It means that it is bleeding now. I have finished my work. So what is the result of this action which will still persist? Means that now I am free. So this was present perfect tense. We have seen the uses of present perfect tense. The first use was that it re recent it express a recently completed action. Second was that past action past action when the time is not given and not definite. And the third use is to denote an action beginning at some time in the past and continuing up to the present moment often with since and for. And the last one is past action the result of which still persist. So this was all about present perfect tense. Now we will move to simple past tense. Simple past tense it express an action completed in the past. Example, she left school last year. I played football yesterday. And what is the format? The format and the structure is subject plus V2 plus object. Next we have past continuous tense. It denote an action which began in the past and was still going on until some other action occurred. Okay. Example, I was playing football when you then arrived. So, I was playing football when you arrived and what is you can see that what it is written it denote an action which began in the past and was still going on until some other action occurred so i began the action of playing football in the past and still it is continuing until the other action my arrival until until his arrival occurred and what is the structure subject plus was and where plus v4 that is ing form plus object. So this is the structure of past continuous tense. Subject plus was slash where plus v4 plus object. Next we have past perfect tense. So let's see past perfect tense. 
past perfect tense it refers to an action that completed before any other action in the past so it will refer to an action that completed before any other action in the past example i had played football before you came so see i had played football this action was completed before you came and the structure will be subject plus had plus v3 plus object okay now we will move to future tense simple future tense it refers to an action which will happen in future example i will play football tomorrow and what will be the structure subject plus will plus v1 plus object next tense is future continuous tense it refers to an action which will begin in the future and will still go on until some other action occurs so it will refer to an action which will begin in the future and it will go on until some other action occurs example i will be playing football when you arrive and the structure will be subject plus will be plus ing form of the verb that is v4 and then the object now for today we have the last tense that is future perfect tense now what is future perfect tense it refers to an action that will happen before another event in the future so future perfect tense will refer to an action that will happen before another event in the future example i will have played football by the time you then arrive okay and the structure will be subject plus will have plus v3 plus object so this was all about tenses i want everyone to write these notes in your copy and to write the structure of each and every tense with example so this everyone has to do in their fair copy and details we will discuss later on we will discuss the exercises in my next video thank you thanks for watching